Back in 2001, I answered a newspaper ad to be an installer. Got pretty good at it, and um, basically I thought that I could do a better job of relating to customers. As a technician, I would go out to people's homes, and the, the customers didn't even know half of what they should have known of what they were getting into or what they were purchasing or even how much it cost. And I thought that was, you know, I thought that was awful. And uh, as a technician, I got the backlash from that because there I am staying in, in their home. Um, so they're taking it out on me. And, uh, and, and just the whole outfit, I thought that I could, I could do a better job just doing it myself. I had no idea it would turn into something uh, this big like it has. Just thought I could make a living taking care of my own customers and doing it all myself. And so um, applied and, and uh, started doing it on, on my own because I knew that I wouldn't make those same mistakes that that other retailer uh, made back many years ago. It comes from my prior history of uh, being a cell phone dealer. For a couple years I dealt with cell phones and you know the cell phone industry is geared around um, you know showrooms because people want to come into their stores and they want to get their hands on the cell phones and and put the phone up to their ear and all that kind of stuff so I never really understood once we were getting heavy into retail with dish why there were no dish network stores you know I might not have one there might not be a lot of them but are there really no dish network stores at all and and there weren't so I thought heck why not you know, it, it's this it, technology is getting more and more hands-on. We're getting more things to show them. Why don't we have a place for them to come preview it? And not just the whole salesman approach, but the technology approach. They might want to see what they're getting before they buy it. And um, so I, I just, I, I said, okay, if we're going to do a store, um, one of my friends told me, you know, if you're going to do it, you do it right. You go big or you go home. And, uh, and Lonnie was right. So I, I started thinking, all right, well, the only way I know how to do it big is if I were Dish Network, if I owned Dish Network and I was making a corporate store, what would it look, out, look like? So just like my Sprint store used to be, I decided to take the corporate colors, the corporate look, the corporate feel, and make my own version if, you know, if Dish Network would have done it you know, on their own. With these showrooms that, that I've created, it puts a real dish expert, take away that phone, puts them right in front of the customer, ask me anything you want, let me tell you what the offer is, let me show you that I'm, there's no way I'm lying, I can prove it to you, and, I, and I'm a real person, and you know, here we are, and we just want to sell you dish. That's all we want to do. You know, we don't want to, no tricks, no gimmicks. Uh, this is what we have, this is what it'll cost, and, and we absolutely, you know, will be here for you seven days a week, even after the installation. I'm Alicia Lacey, and I'm Operations Manager of the company. My name is Chris Williams, and I'm a Dish Network uh, technician. Well, my name's Danielle Carlisle. I'm Ultimately, I'm here to save people money, and if that means that I have to have a, uh, you know, an actual store that I can show them that what we have to offer and just share of information, you know, very few people know of is still to this day a technology that Dish has had for five years that they think we came out with it or Dish came out with it, you know, a year ago or it's brand new. So obviously, um, awareness. So awareness about how they can save money on their bill and, uh, and they don't have to pay those high prices of our competitors.